Hello everybody, this is Jiren and I am the dog groomer. Um, today I'm going to show you how to um, properly clean and maintain your blades, clipper blades. Um, and I got the idea because I've seen a lot of groomers, I get a lot of questions actually, um, asking why doesn't their blade go through smoothly, why does it keep catching. Um, and so, um, a lot, you may have the experience to yourself, you're going through a dog with a clipper blade, let's just say it's going through pretty smoothly and it starts catching, it starts catching, it doesn't really go through smooth, and it starts pulling hairs and the dog starts nipping and, you know, it's, it's no, no fun. So then you pull the blade out, you put another one on, and it seems to go through fine. So what do you do? You take this blade that wasn't working, that was catching, you throw it away, or you put it in a desk somewhere, or a drawer somewhere. Um, if that's the case, I'm going to show you how to actually um, get these blades to start clipping uh, smoothly and cleanly. Abraham Lincoln once said, if he, if he had six hours to cut down a tree, he would spend the first four hours sharpening his axe. And I think that's uh, very, it puts emphasis on how important it is to take care of our tools, to take, make sure it's sharp. Um, that way with quality tools, with good sharp clean blades, we'll be able to um, cut down our clipping time. It's gonna give you a nice smooth cut. You won't get as many uh, track lines. Uh, you know, it just all around good things. <laughs> all right. Um, I like to use a little a old toothbrush. So whenever the toothbrush starts getting really old, rather than throw it away, you can use it to actually clean your tools with. Um, you're also gonna need some clipper oil and. The clippers that I, I that I use personally, and um, I, you know, I'm not—they don't sponsor me or anything. It's just the blades I started, the clippers that I started grooming with that I've grown used to. So it's uh, Andy's AGC Super Speed um, Two Speed, and the AGC just stands for Animal Grooming Clippers. What we're gonna do is before we actually put the clippers, the blade into the blade wash, what I like to do is I like to slide it open, right? Once you slide it open, you can get all of this. That hair that was caught in there, get it all out. And then we'll do it to the other side so we, so we close that and pull it back out on the other side. And that way we get <clears throat> both sides. clean. Not, well, maybe not clean, but at least the hair is out of there. <clears throat> and even just by doing that, um, these blades will actually start, this blade will actually start clipping smoother again. If it is catching on hair, just by clearing out the hair that's in between um, the cutting blade. Oh no. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm glad that happened. So if you do, if it does come out like that, um, by accident of course, then you just kind of wedge it in there, oh no, what happened was this little plastic liner thing fell out, fell out, so, and my hands are not really nimble, you know, if you look at them, they look like construction hands, so that's why I have a little bit of trouble. Here's a little trick I learned back in NUM, <laughs> no, it's kidding. Okay, so you put your little hemostats in between right there, and then we're gonna use this, the hemostats here, and also I'm at a weird angle, to lift it and we'll slide it right back in. Okay, so now we can slide it right back in there. Okay, so just by clearing the hair that's in between the cutting blade and the guide blade there, uh, you'll get a nicer cut. But we, I like to go a step further, and then you want to make sure it's running. Turn it on, that's a seven blade. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip it into the clipper wash and just the tip. You don't want to dip the whole thing in there, you just want to get the cutting part right there. So right in the blade wash for about 10 seconds. Alright. Now, we're going to wipe that clean. You can even take it off, really. Yeah, wait. Well, nice and clean. <clears throat> and then, there's two. Dip there's uh, several ways you can do it. You can slide it out again. 
and you can oil it like that and just get the oil on there and on both sides so right there so you can oil it like that and that's all right <coughs> or sometimes what I like to do is just turn it on and just drop a few drops of oil on there as it's running and that way it kind of distributes all that oil all there and anytime you're working with metal on metal anything that's you know meant to cut things you want to make sure it's oiled so it doesn't it doesn't um, you know dull it down so you get a nice smooth cut also prevents rusting you know just oil is good thing you want to keep your blades well oiled. So actually this blade seven blade I can't remember the last time I got this sharpened I mean, it just, they seem to last longer and you don't have to get them sharpened as often if you just keep them clean and oiled. Uh, this clipper here, uh, it runs on a blade drive. See that? Okay, so this blade drive goes back and forth and I just replaced this, very easy to replace. You just wanna take off these two screws and then take this, slide this out to slide it out and then put the new one in and just put these two screws back in and I just I just replaced it recently so no need to do so but the thing is when you keep your blades clean and your blades are well oiled and they're clean and you know it's not putting too much wear and tear on the clipper blades I mean on the clippers itself uh, you won't really have to change the blade drive out that often either because it's not working as hard to keep moving these um, dull you know, unoiled um, blades. Um, just by taking a little bit of time every day, you actually save yourself a lot of time and money in the long run, and you'll actually get better quality work as well. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Um, keep the questions coming in. Um, this video actually was a result of somebody asking me a question about their clipper blades and why it catches, you know, how do we clean it, how do we maintain it properly. My buddies, one of my buddies, Gary, Gary Casera, who actually is the guy responsible for me even coming up here in Utah. Uh, I love you, Gary. But anyways, he told me that he didn't even know that these blades came out like this. He said that he just thought, you know, that this is how it is. You don't, you don't move this out like that. So, you know, the more we know, the more we grow, and the more we grow, the better we get. So, um, I really appreciate all the questions um, because even when I get stumped and I don't know the answer to the question that gives me opportunity to research learn more myself and grow and get better myself so I really do appreciate that um, keep the questions coming if you have anything that you're interested in um, I, I may make another video about how to change the blade drive as well when it comes time to change the blade drive so um, yeah, I love sharing information, especially if it's going to be helpful. Uh, I, that's what that's my main intention is to make videos that are helpful, practical, informative, um, you know, and hopefully fun to watch. <laughs> I know the production quality here sucks. Uh, well, because I'm I'm using a little cam camera anyways, but um, pretty soon here we're going to be making some really professional videos with Heather and her crew. She has a film crew and everything. Um, producers and all this stuff so uh, you know hopefully we'll be making some really high quality videos um, in a little bit here but I'm not for sure but I, I just just my thoughts I guess if we pay film like professional film crews and you know the producers and all this stuff then I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be allowed to put it on my YouTube channel so that's why you know I decided to make this video just on my own and just show you guys how to keep your clipper blades clean, maintained. Just like Abe Lincoln said, if you have six hours to cut down a tree, four hours he would spend sharpening his axe. So um, I hear Abraham Lincoln was a pretty smart guy. So maybe you know he ha maybe he's onto something there. So um, if we have two hours to finish a dog's haircut or an hour then maybe we should spend about five, ten minutes, you know, cleaning and sharpening our blades, you know. So, um, I really appreciate everything. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I never imagined that my YouTube channel would actually um, become anything that it is now. I really never, 
never expected this, so I'm probably the luckiest and the most surprised groomer you'll ever meet. <laughs> and I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. None of this would have ever happened without your support, without your encouragement. Um, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Namaste. The blessings that exist, the small things that are bliss, the gift to realize that everything is a gift.